CTV News has learned that the largest hospital in the province is wrestling with a serious mix up of digital patient records. It is so bad the University Health Network has temporarily isolated its electronic health records from the rest of the province's e-health network. Our Paul Bliss uncovered this problem late this afternoon. Paul, should patients be worried? It's right at any time electronic health records get mixed up or compromised, it's worrisome to patients. But this is a significantly significant privacy breach due to its very nature. Uh, it's an electronic error that could have had serious consequences. The University Health Network is reviewing five years worth of electronic health records for each patient after a serious problem was discovered in its system. With one million patient visits every year, that's a large number of files now under scrutiny. The problem was uncovered by a patient who found test results in his personal file for a test he had never received. It turns out another patient's records were electronically deposited into his file. That incorrect data could have been used by a physician considering treatment. In a statement to CTV News, UHN VP of Public Affairs Jillian Howard says, from all investigated data to date, there have only been four cases where misfiled information was identifiable. And therefore, there are only four privacy breaches confirmed to date, but of course, investigation is ongoing. In each of the four cases, the University Health Network's patient information was misfiled and somehow placed into another patient's electronic records. The hospital says it's an electronic glitch within its computer system. CTV News has also learned the electronic glitch was serious enough that on October 4th, UHN closed its system, meaning it severed ties to the rest of the province's electronic health grid. The hospital will keep its electronic medical record system closed for another 10 days or so until it finishes going through its logs to ensure the data is clean and then reloaded. The hospital has notified the four patients whose information was put in other people's files. This essentially means no patient electronic record files from the country's biggest hospital are available to physicians around the rest of the province. Ontario's privacy commissioner has been notified of this breach, but so far no other hospitals appear to have the same problem. Live at Queen's Park, I'm Paul Bliss. We'll send it back to you.